Every now and then, we think back on the things we've talked about before. This is Reacher, and in keeping with that, we decided to hit the archives and see how a few of our favorites were doing these days. Number 15. This first entry isn't the only personal submarine on our list, but it's definitely the one that you can have the most fun in. The company offers three models inspired by sharks, dolphins, and orcas. Each has the capacity to carry one to two people, offering a panoramic view through the canopy as well as a live video feed from a snorkel-mounted camera. Power comes from a 230 horsepower four-stroke engine, which allows the sub to jump over waves, dive and glide underwater, perform barrel rolls, and breach the surface just like the animals they're styled after. Positive buoyancy means that it will always float to the surface and ride itself no matter how it lands. I'd love to buy one of these, but as I've said before, it's cheaper to make friends with people who can afford such things. So if you're rich, hit me up on social media because the starting price on these things runs in the upper five figures. Number 14. This three-wheeled hybrid evolved from a design submitted at the 1986 World Expo in Vancouver, Canada by a group of Swiss students. Normally, hybrid models have a standard engine coupled with an electric motor, but in this case, the standard engine is replaced by a system of pedals not unlike a bicycle. Pedaling while driving enables the user to add up to 20% of the needed power directly to the drivetrain. The side-by-side -side seating arrangement allows the twike to be driven from either side using the center-mounted steering controls. It has an average top speed around 50 miles per hour with battery options allowing for a range up to 350 miles. The company is currently offering the fifth model in their line of vehicles, featuring a longer driving range and different steering controls. Considering the 20 plus years under their belt, it won't be their last. Number 13. This one is called the Wheel Surf, and it's unlike any wheeled vehicle you've ever seen. The first thing you notice is the seating arrangement. The ride inside design has a spot for a single rider to sit on the inner framework, which also contains the engine, drivetrain, and gas tank, while the outer frame is a rotating wheel with a solid rubber tire. The rider steers the vehicle using the controls while also shifting their weight as a counterbalance. It has a top speed of around 25 miles per hour, which probably seems a lot faster when riding due to the unique and open design. The company's website is still up and operating, but the last product listed is for 2014 with a current price around $9,700. Number 12. This entry from Dutch-based Drymer offers the comforts of a car with the sportiness of a bicycle. The three-wheeled Pedelec has an open-sided hard-shelled canopy which surrounds the single seat. Column-mounted steering allows the rider to control the tilt of the front wheels while the integrated LCD screen monitors the battery levels and speed which can reach a maximum of 16 miles per hour while a single charge can provide a range of up to 45 miles. The company is still going strong offering this one at a current starting price around $10,400. Number 11. Japanese manufacturers tend to lean towards smaller and single-person vehicles, so it's no surprise that Suzuki created its own personal mobility unit called the Pixie. Designed for both exterior and interior use, this upright scooter is more at home in a pedestrian setting due to its low speed. Travel that demands a longer distance allows it to be used in conjunction with the Suzuki Sharing Coach, which is a transport that can hold multiple Pixies. A large glass hatch raises to allow front access to an interior which keeps the rider in an upright seating position. The unit can be driven with the hatch open or closed with controls at each side on the armrests. Like most of the vehicles of this nature, this one never made it past the concept stages. If you like what you see, be sure and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. Number 10. This crossover is a mix of a tank, skateboard, snowboard, and surfboard. It's compact, powerful, and it can handle any weather and almost any terrain. The DTV Shredder has a pivoting deck that the rider stands on while holding onto the handlebars. It has a 14 horsepower four-stroke engine and dual transmission system which power the rear-driven treads, enabling the driver to conquer slopes up to 40 degrees and water up to a foot deep while still reaching speeds up to 25 miles per hour. 
It was recently approved for sale in the U.S. with a current starting price of $4,500. Number nine. I want to find the guy that built this and buy him a beer. This one from MXB is the fastest and most powerful of the three models they currently offer. And it's all electric. So yeah, more beer for this guy. It has a 48 volt battery pack providing a range of about 18 miles while the motor can produce a top speed around 28 miles per hour. A five inch suspension allows riding on dirt, pavement or grass as well as hills up to 50 degrees. The company's website only lists a 2012 model, but still allows you to go through the ordering process. Pricing, if you can still get one, is listed at $2,700. Number 8. Remember the big wheels we rode as kids and you could turn the wheel to slide sideways? Well, this is the adult version of that, only you can do full 360s. The low racing trike has a reclined riding position with a front pedaling system. A steering handle is attached to one of the rear wheels allowing the rider to drift, take tight turns on two wheels, and even spin 360s while carving embankments. The company currently only ships to the US and Canada with a starting price of $360, assuming you can get one when they're not sold out. Number 7. It's easy to see where the name Chariot Skates comes from when you see the oversized outer wheels on these things. The basic design has the user's lower leg harnessed inside a hinge support that suspends the foot below the main wheel's axle, lowering the center of gravity, while a smaller wheel is attached to the rear of the harness for added stability. This design causes the user to mimic the movements of skiing, allowing the skater to cross rough terrain while still maintaining a smooth skating experience. The company is currently offering a pair of these with extras for $4,250. Number 6. Anyone familiar with the name Rinspeed will know that they are big on ideas that deviate far from the norm. This one called the Oasis is no exception as the compact Speedster has an integrated garden behind the windshield. The self-driving vehicle is the 23rd offered by the Swiss company. And like most before, it offers a futuristic design full of next-gen technology. Features include a dashboard composed of LCD screens with an included sound bar, speakers integrated into the top of the seats, and a steering wheel that doubles as a keyboard and drink tray. Unfortunately, like most of the company's vehicles, this one is still only a concept. Number 5. Toyota first introduced this part of its personal mobility vehicle series in 2005. The I-Unit is a single-person transport that morphs between a low-profile sportster and a look not unlike an exoskeleton. Variable positioning creates a reclined vehicle capable of high-speed maneuvering while also enabling the passenger to safely move among pedestrians when in upright mode. As cool as it looks, this one never made it past the prototype stage, with only 12 of them being produced for promotional purposes. Number 4. It's been a while since we've talked about an e-bike. This one called the N-Cycle has a hollow flowing framework with a built-in storage area in the main body while the handlebars double as a locking mechanism. The power is provided by a 36 volt battery supplemented by the pedaling of the rider to achieve a top speed of almost 16 miles per hour with a maximum range of 56 miles. The last update on the company's website mentions a release date of 2015, so it's safe to say that this one never made it past the prototype stage. Number 3. At this point, I think most of us have heard the name Segway and seen how they work. In 2005, the company introduced its version of an ATV called the Centaur. This lightweight four-wheeler combines an intuitive user interface with advanced propulsion and suspension systems as well as employing the company's proprietary stabilization technology. This allows the rider to attempt normally dangerous maneuvers in a safe and controlled way, even allowing the steering mechanisms to work properly while the vehicle is on two wheels. Sadly, this one never got beyond the prototype stage. Number 2 Okay. If you think owning a mini-sub would be one of the coolest things in the world, then raise your hand. U-Boat Works makes these underwater vessels for everyone from the recreational to the professional. 
Their line of cruise subs are marketed more towards the tourist or personal owner with seating for up to 11 people and a diving depth of just under 5,600 feet. The subs in this series provide an almost uninterrupted view of the surroundings via the double-ended viewports. They also offer customized layouts depending on the needs of the owner. The company is still going strong as of this video. Considering their track record, they'll be around for years to come. Before we reveal our number one pick, we want to remind you to let us know after the video which of these you think should or should not have made it to the market. Number one. If a unicycle had a big brother on steroids, this would be it. This microcycle is called the Rhino, and though it could be mistaken for a motorcycle that was cut in half, it's far from being that simple. Twin electric motors provide all the power needed for a top speed of 10 miles per hour and a standard range of 15 miles on a single charge. It has controls like a normal cycle, which work in tandem with the movement of the rider to accelerate and slow down as needed. The company is still in business and currently seeking funding for mass production with an estimated price just under $3,000. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.